Welcome to AFD TV. I'm Dr. Steve Samudrala. I'm here with Dr. Matt Newhouse, a well-known foot and ankle specialist. Uh, welcome, Dr. Newhouse. Thanks. I'm glad to be here. So, what are the most common foot and ankle problems that you see? I see a wide variety of different problems in the office. Uh, we'll see plantar fasciitis, heel pain is probably the number one problem that I'll see. Ingrown toenails, bunions, foot deformities, flat feet, ankle sprains fractures, different traumatic problems, but pretty much anything that involves foot and ankle pain is something I've come across in the office. We have a lot of patients, especially come springtime, summer, they're wearing their flip-flops, you know, for, do you do any cosmetic work or help with toenail fungus? Yeah, we definitely see uh, nail fungus in the office. Uh, cosmetically, I, my, my opinion on cosmetics is, is it's something better left to the plastic surgeon. When it comes to foot and ankle things, uh, yeah, I treat things because they don't look right. You have a bunion, a big bump on the side, um, you have thick yellow toenails. We can treat all those things, but I don't want to treat something that looks bad that may not hurt and then in turn cause you to have something that looks good that, that hurts. If I have to make an incision, there's a chance that you'll have a little scar tissue, something like that can come up. Um, so I really, my rule is if there's no pain, uh, most things you can live with in the feet and the shoe will cover it up. But, sure. uh, but I certainly do address things like, like nail fungus. Great. And as the baby boomers in our population ages, a lot of patients lose their mobility and, and quite often it's very difficult to regain. What advice do you have to keep us on our feet? You know, that's, that's very true. Uh, you know, it's that, that old adage of use it, or, use it or lose it is very true when it comes to foot and ankle uh, pain and, and problems. So the more people exercise, the more they walk, the better health they'll have, the better their circulation will be. Um, increased blood flow of the feet definitely helps uh, with everything in the feet uh, as far as joint health and that. Uh, one thing to remember is that foot pain is not normal. So if you can get to things early before it it really hurts and causes a problem, then uh, we can successfully treat the majority of pain that people experience in their feet. So remember, foot pain is not normal, and uh, get in and see someone. Don't wait three, four months before you decide to, to haul yourself into the doctor to get it looked at. Great. Well, thanks for watching AFD TV, and stay tuned until next time. The preceding advice provided in this video is informational and strictly the opinions of Dr. Samuel Drala and AFD Clinics. For a more accurate medical opinion of your personal health, please consult your primary care physician or visit one of AFD's clinics today.